Hello, my beautiful diamonds and my Teletubbies, TikTokers, Hershey Kisses, all the above. This is a husband who have three different baby mamas. Now, this man, Dave Ramsey, he usually tries to get women to stick it out with their husbands or with their partners, try to ride, you know, be a ride or die. But even he was at a loss of words. <laughs> Let me share this with you, honey, because this is just what you wouldn't believe this stuff if I didn't show it to you in person. OK, my darlings, here we go. You know, my husband had um, fathered three children before we got married. Um, he has separate child support orders on all three of them. They're three different moms. <laughs> and together, it's a combined total debt of $58,000. Let him And um, I didn't know if we should do, like, your traditional debt snowball on this or um, how we would go about tackling this. I didn't. I don't feel like the debt snowball would be good because I don't want to, like, pay for one child and the other two are not receiving any money. Well, that, that would be a, a good sentiment. Thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> how much other debt do you guys have? Um, about 5000 um, We have a, a small car loan and, good, good. and a small... And what's your household income? Um, about 35000 Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> right. Um, so just, just one of you working? Yeah, um, I work full time. I make seventeen dollars an hour. Bruh. Mm, what does he do? Um, he he's always wanted to own his own business, and so this year he decided that he was going to um, try and start a landscaping company. Um, but it's very seasonal, and there's not a whole lot of work right now. So. Okay, but I mean, did he did he start it before the before winter? Yes, um, he started it uh, in April, and um, he was making about five hundred to a thousand dollars a month Ooh. from that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not working out. No. <laughs> okay, and I mean, unless he has a plan to get his income up ten uh, x, he needs to get a job, doesn't he? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, your nervous laughter tells me he's sitting on his butt not doing that. Um, not exactly. <laughs> well, what is exactly is he doing? Um, well, he is at home with our, we have two children together. Um, so he is at home with them right now, but, um, uh, while they're at school and, and, and stuff, then uh -huh. he's not really doing much. <laughs> yeah. he, he's, he's marketing the business and. And Bull. <laughs> if he's marketing his business, he'd be making more than five hundred dollars. Yeah. Um. Okay. I um. So, as kindly as I can, I need to just say out loud that there's a guy that owes fifty eight thousand dollars for three children that he's not taking care of, and he's doing zero about it, and that's kind of not okay. Now, you see how Dave Ramsey, he sugarcoats things. Well, that's kind of not okay. I don't talk like that. I'm a straight shooter. You know, I'm not trying to season nothing. This dude is a bum. He has three other children that are not hers. They have two together, so that's five children. He owes $58,000. He don't work. Talking about he wants to create, come up with his own business, <clears throat> that's not working. It's not making any money, $500 a month, and that's sometimes. Are you kidding me? But you see how these women are working so hard to hang on to these no good, toxic, disgusting, lazy dudes? So she says he's watching the two children, you know, while they're at, these kids are in school, okay? So while those kids are in school, guess what he's doing? Like I've seen and I've, I've heard of so many women who had husbands that didn't work. They stay at home. He's bringing other women to the house. These women or the wives, the wives or their partner has found condoms. They found other women's bras and panties because you know how a lot of women are. 
They want to wreck the home, so they would take their panties or they'll stash it under the pillow or they'll take it and throw it, put it under the uh, under the bed or they'll put it somewhere where they know the wife is going to look so that she could bust up that marriage or what have you. And then the, 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 the no good woman on the side, she could, he'll be coming to her now. He'll keep coming to her because he's so lonely. And that means more money that she'll be receiving, more of her bills he's going to be paying, even though he ain't got no money to pay nothing with. Let me read some of the comments here, sweetheart. <laughs> she needs to seek advice from a divorce attorney. Okay. And you, another person says, you can look at Dave and he seems so aggravated. Now, when you look at some of Dave's other videos, he's always trying to encourage women to stick it out, stick it out, whatever, put up with abuse. Uh, no, struggle love. No, thank you. Yeah, so even he's disgusted. And it says she sounds like she's on the verge of tears. Do I feel sorry for her? Not even a little bit. No, I don't. Because, you know, men can't treat you no more than what you allow them to. And because of women like her, she's messing up the quality of life for all women across the board, all over the world, women who stay with these abusive men, they don't care about the message they're sending to their son and daughter. They don't care about messing up the quality of life for all women. Because now all of these men are expecting women to put up with this kind of behavior because of women like her. So she's messing it up for everyone. She's selfish. And I guess she's getting what she deserves. Let me see what's the next one. Three baby mamas, no job, behind on child support. Child, please. <sighs> Whatever. Another person, Andrea, says she lost me the moment he said he got three baby mamas. Uh, no. <clears throat> uh, she started his own business to avoid his paychecks getting taken for child support. Someone says she needs to run. Let me see. What else is other, uh, what is, what is other people's viewpoint and take on this? She, they said she knew he was a deadbeat before even marrying him and before having his kids. She knew it. You know? But you know what women be hanging on? They be hanging on to the hope that someday he's going to change. That's why they say he's going to change. Meanwhile, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years have passed. He's just still hanging on. He's going to change. That's my hope. What? That's just taking your whole life and throwing it down the toilet. Because I was wondering, what is it about these women that they won't let go? And that's what it is. He's going to change. Yeah, well, you know what? When, kick him out of the house. That'll help him change even quicker because the only thing men understand is consequences. When there's no consequences and you keep rewarding bad behavior, he has no reason to change. Why should he? You still getting up early in the morning, going to work, paying all the bills, doing the heavy lifting financially. Like I said, it's easy for any woman to get a husband, honey. All you got to do is go out there, find some man, do the financial heavy lifting, be his lap dog and his uh, floor mat. Who can't keep a dude? He ain't going nowhere. He got himself a full-blown sucker. Anyway, Doc, I got to get ready for work, honey. Something he needs to, uh, you know, uh, learn. Let me get ready. And I want you guys to have a great day. And please... Be wise. I suggest staying single because single is so much easier. It's safer. You have more freedom. There's no ball and chain telling you what you can and cannot do. You have, you know, there's no limitations placed on you. But anyway, each woman have to make their own decision. And you have to keep in mind that there are a lot of women who loves drama. They love being abused. They love it so they can have something to complain about. I guess they feel that gives them some kind of attention. How sad is that? Anyway, I want you to have a great day. Bye-bye.